Merkava, who was once human, is thought to have pursued the status of being a rebirth, but that ultimately failed, and he was consumed by the power of EX and turned into a void. Through the transformation, somehow, he managed to retain his consciousness and the ability to speak, though he lost the rest of his memories at the same time. And in this new body, he has craved to devour more and more EX. That, of course, is similar to a normal void. What's interesting, though, is that even though he has the urge to consume EX, he actually tries to resist it. In Murkaba's situation, it is a predicament of a man living within a beast's body. Meaning that the animalistic nature of voids actually takes over if he's really, really hungry. And he flies out and hunts down people to eat and consume their EX. And what's scary throughout this whole situation is the human side of Merkava at that point has no control of the body whatsoever. And since he retains his consciousness from when he was human, he is actually witnessing every individual that the void part of his body is actually eating. And he simply can't close his eyes either. The eyes that you see on Merkava aren't even eyes. Those are just decorations. And he's been in this situation for nearly 10 years. Sometimes he even goes out of his way to actually kill himself. Obviously he can't kill himself by normal means, so the only way he can try to kill himself would be in starvation. When the human side of Merkava takes over, he would fly off into the distance, into an isolated area where he can die in peace. But sadly, that always fails, and the animal instincts of the void takes over no matter what and find praise to feast upon. One day though, he's actually attracted by the sense of a lot of EX users gathering into this one city. Once he makes it there, he actually hides out within a mountain near the city. But little did he know that there were reports regarding a flying creature, and the one who took up this investigation was Londrakia, a member of the Richter Shield. He makes it to the city, but doesn't go there. He actually goes to the mountains near the city. Londrakia actually sends the presence of Merkava, and with that, this actually intrigued Merkava. Londrakia made his way up into the mountains just to find that nothing was there, but he can still sense it. Impressed by this, Merkava actually tears a hole from the void world to the real world, basically stating that he can walk through two different worlds with ease. Seeing this, Londrakia actually jumps back, as he never seen a void this large before. And what catches him off guard is that this was during the daytime. The daytime meaning there's little EX to go about, basically stating that void attacks aren't common during the day. Merkava actually speaks first, and that caught Londrakia off guard even more. A void that can speak was basically unheard of. All Merkava wanted to do was to speak with Londrakia, but a lone fact that Londrakia sensed his presence from a different world, he wanted to hear his story. But he's not speaking with his mouth. He's actually speaking telepathically to Londrakia. Londrakia was on a defense, not believing the words of this void, but he actually takes his opportunity to gain information. But still being on edge, he actually threatened Merkava one last time, and the air becomes clear. The temperature actually dropped, freezing cold. And with that, Merkava understood the situation, and they agreed that all information that is shared right now at this moment is to only be kept to themselves and no one else. Londrakia asked some basic questions. What are voids? How did his body form? Can he live without attacking humans? Do voids actually have a life cycle or even a culture? What does he know about the night and what does he know about EX? And the way he answered was that he was just merely a beast in the existence of that of voids. He answered those other questions numerous amount of times too. And with all those questions, Londrakia decides to ask one more thing before picking up all his belongings and leaving Merkava alone. They didn't want conflict at the end of the day. The question he asked was that if they found a way to revert him back into a human, would he take it? Merkava actually responds 
that it would interest him. And if anything, he didn't mind death if it meant leaving this beast's body. So with that answer, Londrakia made Merkava a promise. A promise that if they ever find a way to revert Voids into becoming human again, he will personally seek him out. Merkava says even if he places his trust within him, he cannot trust the organization that he's with. Given the fact that Voids are their mortal enemies. And if that organization and Voids ever meet, that title will always be there. Londrakia was persistent. He says, if there ever is a way to save you, then we can talk again. He explains the Richter Shield's goal, saying that they are researching EX, Inverts, and the Knight. And one day, if they could figure them all out, they would want to use that knowledge to actually help people. Hearing all of that, Markavo actually responds, saying he will cautiously be optimistic of his statement. And so the conversation ended between Londrakia and Markava. Londrakia would actually go to his superiors and say that he actually fought the Void and that the Void got away. And Markava just leaves doing his own thing. But before Londrakia was about to leave, Markava wanted to show his own form of gratitude for befriending him. Londrakia instantly thought that he wanted to kill him right off the bat. And since the conversation was over, there was nothing else to hold up. Merkava screams out and runs towards him, but it wasn't him he was after. Merkava actually grabs Londrakia's belongings and flies towards the city. Merkava basically left Londrakia to run down an entire mountain just to find his belongings somewhere in the city. Londrakia finally making it into the city, he couldn't find his belongings anywhere until he actually gets a call. The one calling him was actually Lex. He questions why Elite Christ is contacting him, considering their history, even so far saying that Lee Christ was the nemesis of the Richter Shield and so on and so forth. Lex actually explained why, but she wanted to say something. That over at Elite Christ, they actually had the belongings of Londrakia. So wanting to give Londrakia his things back, Lex decided to have a meetup of some sort between the two. Relieved to have his stuff back, they began to exchange some topics with one another. Even Lex questioned him why he was here on foreign ground to begin with. And obviously, Londrakia said he can't answer. It was simply just his job. He says, regardless of why you guys are here, do you mind letting her know that we will soon determine who is greater? And the person that Londrakia is talking about is none other than Wagner herself. 